Okay, greetings and salutations, everybody. This is Invisible here with you. Today, I am not going to show you a Let's Play, nor am I going to start a new project completely. I am here to have a, a sincere heart to heart with you. What about? Let's first use the gameplay scene here. Go to settings. Okay. Give me a second, please. I forgot about something. Okay, back. So, why are we here? Stream. Service, YouTube, RTMPS, the usual stuff. I honestly thought about uh, using both Twitter, uh, I mean Twitch and uh, YouTube at the moment. What I'm here for is uh, because this. I am recording for you all the offline stuff via. What is that the word? Here, here. Basically, the thing is here. Yeah, right here, right here. See here. Base canvas resolution is 1920 by 1080. Okay. This is for the scale of 16.9 wide screen. The output scale resolution is 1280 by 720. Again, ratio is the wide screen 16.9. Down scale filter is Lanz, uh, Lanxus sharpen scale 36 samples. Why am I telling you about this? My common uh, FPS value is 60. The thing is, as I reviewed my videos that I uh, recorded for you offline and compared them to the actual real um, input that I took from my own screen, I discovered that for some disgusting reason, it is actually a habit of YouTube in its own self to downscale the cursed resolution for the small and insignificant channels. I already watched a video which uh, spoke about this uh, very thing. I will place you the link in the description. And it says that how a video that size reaches 5 to 8 gigabytes of 720p by 1280p, which is the second to the maximum uh, resolution settings, all of my input is at 1080p and all my output is supposed to be at maximum at 720p which means almost hd ready or i record with uh, full hd and i send it to you by hd ready this is uh, supposed how it should work with the streaming and with videos recording however what i noticed sadly just recently is that all of my videos that were recorded offline are shut upon all my resolutions are just 360 which is literally the lowest possible setting which is complete bullshit this is not what you deserve and this is not what i'm making <laughs> I, do, I am not recording by the hours with a, 20, uh, with a 720p just for the cursed shit that is YouTube to downgrade them to 360 just to make the uploading s speed faster. That's why most people, once they finish offline recording, they use the video editing software they use it they place at which rendering uh, settings they want it uh, the screen to be and then they upload it while they let their cpu or gpu render every frame by frame 
And since even with Sunny Vegas, I did give the scaling to be exactly 720, sadly, YouTube took it as having the scale not only to be 360, but also to make it as small and as an uh, boxed. Um, output as possible meaning the entire product was destroyed and the entire product keeps getting destroyed over and over and over again without my personal permission at all so what's the solution the solution is i'll have to find a way to render my videos before i upload them to be at least on 4k or 12k which means obviously it will reach upon something like 50 gigabytes yes not five i'm talking 50 like a five with a zero before it and that obviously will take too much time otherwise i'll have to just uh, deal with my stream and health for the sake of the videos and somehow manage to return to streaming live since all of my live output is the same exactly as the input that i'm uh, showing you but also with that when i get too much into it youtube simply suddenly decides it's about time for me to just appear as if i am live but in reality i get disconnected so yeah, looks like I, can, I just cannot win with this cursed website at all. I need an editing tool, and I need to know how to render. I need to learn how to render your videos, and how to give them to the audience the very same resolution you actually recorded them with, because this is completely shit and unfair. I'm not giving you garbage for products i'm giving you the full products but youtube is simply telling me you are a small insignificant channel vastly there is no reason for you to actually be making anything that's better than 360p resolution everything i recorded so far from dungeons 1 to 2 offline came out to be at a 360p and that is not the real resolution my actual resolution that i keep all the time recording for you with is 720 and my official settings for obvious for recording the input itself is at 1080. i right now feel betrayed not by you guys but by the very system itself that's why I had to simply come out to you here and speak heart to heart. What else? Is there, is there something else to talk about? This is, uh, today is the 20th of March, 2022. Basically, 23, 2022. Supposedly, this is Friday, 25th of March. Um, Ghostwire Tokyo will be released. I will do my best to put my hands on a version of it and day one start recording it. In case I get super saturated with it or I cannot play it, we will either go back to our normal uh, show with Dungeons 3 or I'm going to try to test some games that I downloaded decently but never got the chance to, use, uh, to play it. So my question for you is, would you like me to share with you my testing since these games are very new to me and most of them, if not all of them, are indie and um, I could maybe share with you some of my testing games and whatnot, who knows. Oh, I'll just have to wait for feedback from you because I won't mind playing whatever um, I feel like playing. But once again, I have a ton of uh, games in my library that I never even touched. And uh, normally I would play them offline. I need you to understand that, yes, I do use Epic Games Store and I do use Steam Store. However, I am also a veteran. I 
used to play from the hard copy CDs, the software copies, the digital ones, and also I don't really shy away from saying I do play pirated versions. Why? So that I can test the game before I officially purchase them, once I get the money for, for doing so. So, yeah, I don't have only two or three methods to play games, I have multiple methods. That's how I collected my collection. So, if uh, by chance you would started finding me playing weird looking games, or nonsensical games, testing them out, or even titles you have never heard of before, whether it was on emulators or on PC itself, just take a note that I am open, I am trying to open my boundaries for new, newer stuff. Usually, I do a few facts about Invisible after each project I make. This time, since I already answered your ask me anything questions, I'm kind of fighting myself to try to find a topic that is actually worthwhile um, for exploring. So, until I find something to write down, you'll have to just wait for, for, uh, for me for now. Also, as a master's degree college student, I need to concentrate more on my studies since we have started once again the second semester. If I cannot uh, continuously update, upload for you newer videos and newer stuff, I'll just have them to use up my older videos. Yes, there is still lots of more uh, older videos, but until then I'll have uh, to just compromise with what I have on the quality. Currently, my videos uh, counter for all videos, uh, let's say, uh, playlist, reached 307. For Dungeons 2, it is... Uh, why is it 22? And Dungeons 2 was only 20 videos, with two of them uh, a retake from each other. We have uh, 26 shorts, 4 announcements, Dungeons 1 is uh, 23 videos, while in reality it is... Uh, 19 parts. The others are just TDTX, I think. Project Altered Beast is 17 videos. Aragami 1, 8 videos. And Kena Bridge of Spirits is 8 videos. The longer the sessions are, the few more videos I need to make for it. The Thrillville is 31. Infamous uh, ZPTV. Infamous uh, Funny Moments is 21. Pokemon DX Guild of uh, Darkness for Sugar Connery's Funny Moments is 32. Aragami 2 15 parts. Uh, Pokemon Colosseum for Sugar Connery's Funny Moments is 9 parts. And Whiplash Funny Parts are for 3 parts. Currently, I have uh, got uh, 169 public hours. I don't really know if the YouTube still counts for me my latest videos, but whatever. Um, everything thusly is going kind of well, but I cannot truly be sure about it. For now. I'll try to balance my life again between school life and between YouTubing and streaming. Once again, as I said before, I'm only going to give this channel until I finish my master's degree. If this uh, channel succeeds, and I can uh, make sure that I reach the point where I can get my personal income from it and monetize it, then I will stay as is and continue on even 
let's say playing more and more titles you most likely have never heard of before since the one thing that uh, triggered me to continue on uh, return back to recording videos was the many new titles I discovered somehow and the hidden gems I discovered as well for the mini touch and the PC in case the videos do not uh, work and I cannot even monetize them after two uh, continuous series of film stamp production then I will simply just uh, what am I supposed to say like I will simply curse my luck and then search for a career a normal one outside of uh, the internet i would still upload my videos and my let's plays but more of like an off time hobby nothing more nothing less because it will really be pointless to make it as my full-time uh, job anymore I am back to YouTube to monetize my stuff, get uh, some income from them. So, I will try to start trying out the new releases, new stuff. And that's one of the reasons why I will, I am intending to play uh, Ghostfire Tokyo from day one. I will not do that, uh, this very really thing towards every single uh, let's play I will do. It would only be to the games where I am hyped to the most. Currently, I'm only hyped for Ghostwire Tokyo and the stray, the game simulator where you play as a cat. Also, I did notice from OBS uh, microphone that my audio does have some kind of an echo effect. Sorry, but since I always use my screen's personal microphone for recording the audio, I have no replacement for it. I'm sorry about that, but you will have to work with this quality of sound until I get enough money to have myself a fully dedicated gadgets uh, set for the sake of recording professionally. For now, if you wish me to hear from me commentary, I wouldn't mind it. And if you want to just watch the games being played silently, I also wouldn't mind it, as long as it is online streaming, because looks like I will have no other uh, way but to either record the streams privately or record them publicly in order to get myself some more upscaled fair results because looks like downscaled ones are just unfair that being said i believe this is what this will be about it for now at least so this is what happens when i uh, train too quickly, too much after a lengthy vacation. My endurance and energy are about to run out, and I have not yet finished my homework for tomorrow. I better get moving for now. Thank you all for your attention. This has been Invisible with you. Sign out. I also need to make sure that my pronunciations are perfect since I do uh, pronounce lots of names promptly. This has been invisible with you. Sign out, sign out. Take care.